Uh, a solar eclipse takes place whenever the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, and some portion of its shadow passes across the Earth's surface. A solar eclipse can only take place during the new moon phase. Uh, we have a new moon every 29 and a half days, but not every new moon produces a solar eclipse because the moon's orbit is tipped about five degrees to the Earth's orbit around the sun. So most of the time, the moon's shadow passes above the Earth or below the Earth, and it misses the Earth. What you see during an eclipse depends on what type of an eclipse you're seeing. During a partial eclipse, you see some small fraction up to 99% of the sun covered by the moon's disk. It looks like a chunk is taken out of the sun during a partial eclipse. The really interesting and scientifically valuable eclipses are total eclipses. In that case, the moon completely blocks the sun's bright surface, and we're treated to a view of the very faint halo of light surrounding the sun, which is the sun's outer atmosphere, which is called the solar corona. The solar corona is, is interesting um, for its beauty and as well to science because it gives us a window into the physics of the sun. The sun's corona is one or two million degrees in temperature, so it's much hotter than the surface of the sun. And it remains a, a mystery today why the corona is so hot. During a total eclipse, it gives scientists a rare opportunity to make direct measurements of the sun's corona with all types of instruments and measure it at uh, different wavelengths, uh, measure it at different frequencies, once a second, 20 times a second, 100 times a second, with different size telescopes, which are always improving. For uh, the typical person, the best way to view an eclipse, um, there are several ways. One is to uh, get some kind of special filters that you can buy through magazines, these, these solar filter glasses for a couple of dollars. You can also go to a welding supply store and buy a number 14 welder's glass that you can use for looking at the eclipse. Or if you've got a pair of binoculars, now this is important, you don't look directly at the eclipse with the binoculars, but if you take the binoculars and point them towards the sun and hold a piece of paper behind the binoculars, say a foot or two behind it, the binoculars will project an image of the sun and the, a, an image of the eclipse directly onto the piece of paper. The eclipse this August of 2008 uh, is actually visible from northernmost Canada up into the Arctic, um, northern Greenland, down into Central Asia uh, of uh, Siberia, and down into Mongolia and China where it ends at sunset. The reason why each eclipse can only be seen from a small part of the Earth's surface is because the moon's shadow is smaller than the Earth, and it can only cover a small fraction of the Earth at, at each eclipse. Uh, one big mission that's uh, coming up with NASA for viewing the sun is SDO, which is Solar Dynamics Explorer. And that will be looking at the sun's weather and how that weather influences life here on Earth and the environments around uh, the Earth. The sun produces these huge uh, coronal mass ejections and intense flares that throw radiation and particles um, at the Earth, and this can produce aurora in the upper atmosphere, but it also affects radio transmissions, it can damage satellites, and it can be um, a health risk to astronauts doing EVAs um, in orbit or on the moon or on a mission to Mars. I've seen about 20 total eclipses of the sun now, and I think of the many things I've seen on this planet, a total eclipse is the most spectacular, most beautiful celestial event that I've ever seen. Uh, and few people get a chance or an opportunity to see a total eclipse because they only happen once every 350 years from any point on the Earth's surface. So usually you have to be willing to travel around to see one. Now the United States will get a chance to see a total eclipse um, in 2017 which seems like a long time from now, but I've already been planning for it for 20 years. So this will be a chance for people uh, from, uh, from Oregon down through uh, the southeastern part of the U.S. through a 100-mile wide swath right down through the Carolinas to see this total eclipse. One interesting uh, thing that happened during an eclipse in Africa several years ago was about uh, 10 minutes before the eclipse became total, uh, the sky is growing dark, it's getting cool, um, and suddenly the crickets came out as if it were sunset. 
So, and they came out very loudly. And as the eclipse became total, we could hear the village next to where we had set up let out this blood curdling scream. Even though they had been told what this eclipse was like, to witness the eclipse firsthand is, is a remarkable event, and, and it, it's, it's hard to be prepared for. It, it's so spectacular.